Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. I'm at Cooper Lake State Park. South Sulphur Unit. As you can see, I'm not in a campsite yet. I got here a little bit early. And so the, the site's still occupied. But we can still go see some stuff while we're waiting to get into the site. And the first thing we're going to go and see is right down here. Hold on. Let me get there and I'll be back. So if you're coming to Cooper Lake State Park, you might be interested in putting a, fish, uh, putting a hook in the water. They have a most appealing fishing dock. I don't know how deep this water is. Doesn't look to be too very deep. But they have definitely put a lot of effort into having a great fishing dock. They even have it lit up at night. Well, let's go see some more stuff. I'm going to deploy the Valkyrie, that's the Vituvia e-bike, while we're waiting to get into my campsite. We'll jump on the bike and run around and see some stuff. It says, please do not, please do not dispose of fish in trash can. So they're talking about that one, or that one. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is a nice fish cleaning station. You have power points so that you can use a, an electric knife to clean a whole bunch of fish. Cooper Lake State Park, South Sulphur Unit, Cooper Lake State Park, actually has several boat ramps. This is the one over by the fishing pier between the two different RV loops. My boat ramp fans are happy. It actually doesn't look like this, this boat ramp's getting a whole lot of activity. There's a couple boats, but anyway. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you have horses and they like to go hiking, South Sulphur Unit, Cooper Lake State Park actually has a horse hiking trail. And they also have some really nice equestrian sites. I don't see any paddocks though. All I see are hitching posts, hitching rails. Well, that's an example of your equestrian site. Some have water and power, some are primitive. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you like tent camping, the Oak Grove Primitive Camp Loop is perfect for you. Nice shady spots, and there are some that are actually close to the water. We'll cruise on down here and see if we can find one. I, I, I don't think you can get much closer to the water than that. There's three of them, four of them. Two, three, four, five. So there's five of five campsites that are right on the water. And I mean, literally right on the water. All right, let's, let's, let's go see some more stuff. We have made it to the sunset cove day use area of course it's a day use area so there's lots of picnic tables there's a, a toilet a vault toilet up there but the claim to fame at one time now that we started over there where that boat ramp is so we've 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 made about a mile or two drive but the claim to fame at one time was this big, long, awesome place to fish. And it's still not repaired. It's actually worse than it was the last time I was down here. Maybe, maybe we'll see that remodeled thanks to the legislation that passed. Anyway, I'd really like to fish off of that someday. Let's go see some more stuff. Now you don't have to have a, an RV or sleep in a tent. 
if you want to come out and pay a visit to Cooper Lake State Park South Sulphur Unit. They have screen shelters for your camping pleasure. Not a whole lot of amenities in this screen shelter, but you have, you have power and you have screens. Smell like somebody was cooking bacon this morning. They have a lot of screen shelters out here. They also have cabins. So let's go see a cabin. So Cooper Lake State Park South Sulphur Unit is, is <laughs> well known for the cabins. What amazes me is that there's hardly anybody here. It's Sunday morning end of July and this cabin is unoccupied but look at the view <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you get over that <laughs> all cabins are locked so we won't be going in so I'm just I'm looking for a cabin for, we're just exploring cabins. Can you imagine having coffee, watching the sun come up? How cool is that? And there's nobody here. That just boggles my mind. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So here at the day use area, kids are gonna be real happy. Cause look at all that playground equipment. Even have some of them swings, you can go real high on. We need to get a better look at the beach. But before we do that, you wanna play some volleyball? <laughs> a volleyball court. All right, let's go get a better look at the beach. A better view of the beach. Right there, I actually have has a wall to keep the waves from wearing you out. And then there's a great place to go fish on the other side of the wall. We need to go over there now. If you wanted to spend a little time on the water, but you don't have a boat, well, you can rent a, a kayak. And I noticed they've got a fish feeding station over there. I bet there's some good catfishing. That's if the fish feeding stations are operational. What's kind of surprising to me, there's no boat trailers. Where are all the boats? We are, we are at the boat ramp. So you'd think there would be boat trailers. And it's, it's a big boat ramp. Six lanes. There's no wind. It is a perfect day to be boating. I have no idea. Let's go see some more stuff. So if you have a large group of people that are wanting to get together, Cooper Lake State Park South Sulphur Unit does have a group pavilion. And look at that cooker. Man, that is a that is a beast of a cooker. Look how big that thing is. You can smoke all kinds of stuff in there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
kind of squeaky, very noisy. Fire pit, and there's a bunch of single use individual. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I think it's time to do a VR virtual tour. I would say scooter run, but I don't have a scooter. We'll do an e-bike, e-bike run. Wow. All right, it's like 100 and 108 degrees according, according to Trudy Thunder. It's 108 degrees. My sight has opened up, my sight opened up, so I am in sight number 16. It is a 50 amp with water. and a lot of slope so there's a trail that trail right there goes over to the the fishing pier which is kind of why i wanted this the other reason i wanted this site is because this is where i actually had my, the first face to face with a dude rv follower super fan dave dave and buster were camped in this site in leon his uh his pop-up tent trailer. It was not a pop-up trailer. It was a, it was an off-road rig. But anyway, Leon was set up in this site. I had forgotten what it looked like. I should have went back and watched my own video. Because as you can see, I'm on full blocks chocks on the front to keep me from running on back we do have a picnic table on a concrete pad fire ring <laughs> we're gonna be camping in style we got the ubiquitous lantern hook but that is that's a lot of grade a lot of change in grade right there it'll do just here for one night so and then right down there's the fishing hole all right i gotta i gotta go grab some lunch shower check we are doing the shower check not too bad could use a little renovation a little updating It's warm, but of course it's 108 degrees outside, so super clean. Very, very clean. Yeah. Very clean. All right. Let's go find some more Cooper Lake State Park stuff. This visit to Cooper Lake State Park is sponsored by Tuk Tuk Kayaks.
Good morning from South Sulphur Unit, Cooper Lake State Park. Buzzard days is coming. What am I going to say? We're going to close out. We're closing out South Sulphur Unit. I really like Cooper Lake State Park. The whole forest, the nature scene of it reminds me a whole lot of Fairfield Lake State Park, which was one of my top five. I'm amazed at how few people are here. Yeah, it's hot, but that's what the lake is for. I mean, we're in Texas, it's, it, it's, it gets hot. So peaceful. I like it when nobody's here. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I just think it's odd. I think this, this is a great, this is a fantastic destination. You got everything going here. I mean, fishing, boating, swimming, great recreation opportunities await. Hiking, you name it, it, it's all here. The only thing they don't have are full connection sites, but there's there's a, a nice dump station. For me, I, I, I don't do a whole, I'm not, I don't have to have full connection sites because I'm usually not, usually not in one place long enough to really take advantage of that. But anyway, uh, this wouldn't be a, not such a great waypoint because it, it's kind of off the beaten path. But as with a lot of Texas state parks that are a little bit off the beaten path, if you need a, a couple of days to decompress from the drive, I think it's well worth that side trip. The one, the one thing I, I'm, the one thing I'm not a huge fan of, is all the sites. Majority of the sites, you're gonna, you're gonna work to, to get level. I actually never got level. I got, I got pretty close to it. That was close enough. I'm just, I got close enough because I'm only here for one night. Make sure you got plenty of blockage material with you. Now, if you're in a trailer, a little easier to get level on, on sites like these, but a motor home, make sure you got some, some good blocks with you. I gotta, I gotta head over to Bonham, Bonham State Park. Shoot some VR tour video there. If you've not already, remember to click on the subscribe button. Oh, and remember to hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here on this hot and humid morning. <laughs> it's your fault. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, I got to hit the road. I'll see you uh probably wednesday on the virtual tour and then again on thursday with the vr tour and on friday with an episode of friday's finds and then next sunday i'll see you over at bonham state park all right y'all come back now you hear